don't know why I've took so long to get around to this, but I'm doing this channel where, or this series on this channel where I'm tasting beers. So let's 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 just get in there. I get a kick out of brew. Hello, and this is the cousin back with another beer tasting video, and in this one. I've definitely set the camera wrong because you can barely see the top of my head and you can actually see the table in this one, which is probably a pretty good setup. But we're not here to talk about camera angles. We're here to talk about beer. Now, before I get started, I'd like to say that um, I've had quite a few today. <laughs> I actually, um, earlier today, I went to meet Griffo and we must have had at least five drinks. I think we had... I think I had like two Guinnesses, a Lefe, and then Asha turned up and I had two rum tikis and apple juices. I was pretty much feeling it, but I've sobered, that was like a few hours ago now. So I've sobered up, ready to do beer tasting and try a new beer. Now this beer is one that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I bought this when I was with my cousin the other day when I got the Milk Stout and the Weird Old Peculiar one I had yesterday. But this one's another one we did on our um, beer tasting channel thing. Like, that was like a last year, I think. Um, and it is, it was one of those beers where I thought, I think we gave it a four. Or did we give it a three? No, I think it was a four. But when I look back on this beer, I always think that's the one beer that I think if I did it myself, I would have given a five. And it is Adnan's Ghost Ship. So yeah, when we tasted this beer, I'm pretty sure we gave it like a four. Yeah, I'm going to say four we gave it. And I always remember this just tasting really nice. I think I probably gave it a, f like, yeah, that's good. Whereas Joe was a bit more like, eh. and then we just settled to meet halfway. But I think I've always thought I need to try this beer again, just so I know for me, it is a good beer. So I'm going to, I always wanted to give this one another chance. So it's Adnam's, did I say Ghost Ship? No, this is Broadside. Ghost Ship is the one with the lime green and bluey grey colour scheme. Completely different drink. But yeah, this is this is it is broadside the one I wanted to try out. I remember it was the red and blue one. I'm not sure if I rated the Ghost Ship one that much. But yeah, this is Adnam's broadside. So this is one of those like themed not themed beers, but Adam always do ships on their beer. They've got this one, Go Ship. Pretty sure there's another one they did. But yeah, Adnam's Southworld um, broadside commemorating the Battle of Seoul Bay, 1672. And it's got the ships, which I'm guessing is in, in battle. I don't know if this is like in honor of sailors or Navy, but it says here, a dark ruby red beer, rich in fruitcake flavours with a wonderful balance of malt and hop flavours. Uh, yeah, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that sounds familiar. It's six point three, so this is by far the strongest beer we've had on this channel. So the design of it is quite nice actually, with this red, blue, and then it's almost black, kind of like stout. Not not like um wait, what does it say here? Beer from the coast. It's got that engraved here. Not like the one we had yesterday, like you can still tell it's tinted if I look through the light here. But it has got this like dark colour to it. It almost looks like it could be like a cola in my opinion. I've always thought that looking at this beer, don't know why. But um yeah, so I am super excited to try this and see if it's as good as i remember because i remember this being one of the best maybe top 
four or five on that beer tasting adventure me and Joe did, but it never got there because I think Joe didn't like it as much. Because when there were some drinks that he really liked and I didn't, and then some drinks that he really liked and I didn't, so they kind of got held back by the other person's rating or pulled forward. <laughs> so some beers we had to meet halfway and this was definitely one for me. So the design of it is pretty nice. I'll give you a close up. See it's got the um, broadside commemorating the battle in 1672. So I'm guessing this is the image we've got here. We've got this one ship here and this one there. And it's got this red and black color scheme with the, with the like logo, so the Adnam's logo in blue. And that's repeated on the neck seal with the red, with the blue around the edges. And then it's obviously got the Adnam's bottle cap, which I'm probably gonna dent the crap out of. And then on the back, it's also got a smaller boat here. Oh, there's actually three boats on here. Um, so yeah, they definitely do have that. I can smell something. It's like a, it smells like perfume or something. Don't want that contradicting the smell of this. But yeah, so for the design, I'm gonna give it a four. A lot of, from what I remember from the beer tasting channel and just beer in general, a lot of them do have that um, boat sailor type theme to them. A lot of bars are themed after that as well. Um, they'll have like anchors and decorations and all sorts all over the all over the place. So there definitely is something about beer and boats and sea and all that and the coast and. I always think that works best with beer. Like they do go kind of hand in hand. So that that kind of authentic theme, as you will, kind of fits. And then I think the blue is a very like admiral sort of color. And it just goes well with the red. It does look like cola, but I do like this, this design. I think it's quite inviting. It does catch your eye. You do look at that and go, okay, what's that? And yeah, it's a, it's a nice design with the boats on it. So I'm gonna give its design a, a good four, um, pretty high four. Yeah, like it's, it's something about it. It just looks nice. Like it's a nice looking beer. So its design is a four. Now we need to do the taste. Yep, that's dented. So there's like a oh, final, Look at the bottle cap. I'm pretty sure someone called me Adnam, or a few people have called me that. Don't know why, but yeah, let's get into this. It smells. What does that smell like? I don't know, but it smells like food. <laughs> now for the taste. Again, it has a stouty taste to it. Or does everything just taste like stout to me? I'm not sure if that's as good as I remember. It's got like a powerful taste that just hits you and then just dissolves really quickly. Like it doesn't really have an aftertaste. You just get this strong hit and then it just fizzles out. It does taste strong though, like 6.3. It is a 6.3. You can tell when you're drinking this, it's got, it's got, it's got a strength to it. I'm gonna give that a four. It is a nice beer. Now I wouldn't say it's like over the top great, but it is a nice beer. Like no doubt in my mind that it's a four. It is something I would have again, but it's a bit too heavy for something you can just drink casually at a party. This is more, so 
something you could have on a boat when you're out at sea. But this is something that's going to knock you knock you back a bit if you're if you're, if you're out drinking. This this one will definitely leave an impact on you. That is a good taste. It's got a nice, like I said, it fizzles out a bit. There is a bit of an aftertaste, I guess, but it is nice. I wouldn't really go in as far as saying it's a five, but on both design and taste, it is definitely a high scoring four. So yeah, with no doubt in my mind, I'm glad I tried this again. And it's not quite a five, but it's not far off it. So grab a broadside by Adnams, crack it open and enjoy.